So, so first, uh, I would just thanks for uh, Liang, uh, Dr. Liang, and and his students, and they have finished the uh, uh, DEI translation work, and uh, I already helped him merge the code into the into the repository. Okay, great. Thank you, Ye Hui, for merging the PRs. Yep. And uh, also a question to Elizabeth. So what about the rest of the uh, translation work? I haven't seen any other new pull request, uh, sorry, issues set up. I think Matt is doing that, um, but I know he's been traveling for a couple of weeks, so that's probably just why he's just been busy. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, you can expect that, yeah, to come probably next week, I'm assuming. Yeah hope so i can i can connect with him and to be fair i don't know that a lot of metrics require a lot of translation so i need to go back and look i i don't even remember really if there are any major changes to any of the other metrics um so there might not be that much left to be honest mm -hmm. that'd be good uh where would uh would uh uh, the next version be released on October, right? So we talked about this in the community meeting yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. So we are not going to do an official release in October okay. um, because I don't think that we have many new metrics. I think the only we only maybe have a few. So we're mm -hmm. going to release them as part of the continuous release process, which means they'll get an issue open with the checklist. They'll go on the website um mm -hmm. for like just as a you know a um a release candidate so people mm -hmm. can look at them um, and then in april when we do our our next big release then we'll lump them all in to that release does that make sense yep. yeah 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 that'd be great and uh, we uh... we should also think about uh, the release of the metrics model uh, how to release it, and should we need uh, do we need to uh, translate the metrics model into Chinese or uh, or other languages this year? Because uh, the compass will be launched uh, maybe one or two months later. So I prefer we got some ready release of metrics model before it's launched. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fantastic. That's a great point. And I think definitely if if there's time and if we have the the ability to translate those prior to the release of Compass, mm -hmm. then I mm -hmm. think that would be great. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we can make that happen, yep. but that would be amazing. I guess I guess you and the Matt and Shane would would come to next uh, next metrics model meeting on Tuesday in Yes. Week, yeah, right? we can, right. yeah, for sure. We can um, work those details out uh -huh. um, at that time. Or we can do it async on Slack also. That's completely valid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, after next week, we in China, we are going to have seven days vacation, a holiday. So, oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we, we would not have an uh, Asia Pacific meeting. Next time we we would uh, skip one time. But, what uh, uh, what are the dates on that? I'll just put it in the agenda here. Uh, October October first to seven. Oops, Chinese vacation. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And do you have, Yehoi, do you have a, um, a release date in mind for Compass? A date that you're working toward, or is it kind of when it's yeah, done? I, it's it done? should be, it, it's, it, um, and we actually, we, we have some test version already uh, deployed, but it's only for inner, inner verification version. Um, we, the first pre-launch version would be provided uh, at the beginning of next uh, next month, I mean the October, uh, we would like some. We would invite some bodies to try to try that, like like you and Shane and Matt. 
and uh, after after the verification by the different proper, uh, peoples people and uh, we are in uh, our current plan is to uh, launch it at the beginning of that uh, at, at the beginning of November I think and uh, we are gonna have a summit for that okay. and uh, this summit would uh, hold together with uh, with um, with the chaos uh, chaos meet meet up this year. Oh, awesome. And where would that be? What city is that going to um, be? In? Should be in Beijing. I hope so. Beijing? Okay. Are, yeah, they are, that would uh, make it easier to invite more people to come. Who's organizing that? Is Shoya? Uh, I think we need Shoya support uh, as part of the chaos meetup, but we right. would invite more people uh, to focus on the uh, compass uh, discussion to let okay. more people to try try it out. Okay, so that will be specifically around compass. You think will be mm -hmm. the main topic? Okay. So that could give, give us a lot of support. And uh, we would uh, um, invite, uh, you know, have more medias uh, for that, including the online broadcast. Okay. Does Shoya know <laughs> about this? Uh, we... I haven't know, know it yet. Okay. But, uh, I will discuss it uh, but uh, but she doesn't need to worry about it because okay. they would um, they would uh, uh, ha, ha, uh, process that together okay. with the Gitty, people from Gitty. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Surprise if you're watching, Shoya. <laughs> Surprise. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That's awesome. And. Uh, and before, uh, I mean, next uh, next uh, matrix model meeting, I would like to discuss a little bit about um, uh, how to, uh, you know, might suggest that um, we have a, a discussion with uh, with the chaos board about whole chaos uh, about whole compass solutions, how it's gonna work, current state and the plan of the project, and. Um, how how to collaborate between chaos and the people from China? So I I would like to make it as a main main topic in the next meeting. Okay, uh, that sounds great. Yeah, after that we can uh, propose it to the chaos board together. For the other thing, I think we are quite busy recently in uh, in the compass uh, implementation together with the people from Getty. And as I mentioned, uh, we already finished the uh, uh, from and designing work and make it uh, put it uh, on online uh, verification. But still they are they are gonna have a lot of work to do before it's pre-launched. So I guess after uh, in, in the middle of, of, of October, uh, I can give it a demo for the people in Asia Pacific meeting and also in metrics model meeting. Yeah, that sounds amazing. You said in the middle of October? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to put that here in the agenda too, in our notes. Would you consider that a pre-launch or just a demo? Just a demo. Okay. I'm not sure. Because we we need to, to consider, because currently uh, we have to handle that, how to, how to evaluate one repository and how to evaluate uh, organizations, which includes multiple uh, repositories. There are two 
uh, scenarios in the, uh, especially for the metrics model uh, implementation. So um, and we kind of have a lot of work currently for this part of our work. Uh, so before it's solved, uh, I don't think it's ready to, to be pre-launched. Okay, that makes sense. And you said, okay, yes. Yeah, I think Matt wanted to set up a meeting with you and me and maybe some folks from the LF um, as well, just to make sure that, you know, everything's worked out and that there's, you know, no issues or anything like that for the planning mm -hmm. of Compass. Yeah, so, yeah, sure. okay. And, uh, and uh, when we, uh, you know, in the past several weeks, we we are discuss we, we are discussing uh, the designing work, the user experiences of the compass. We found that we we really need a forum uh, of this uh, of this service uh, aimed for the people who would like to use that to let people to discuss that uh, in the forum. Oh. So I want to check with you, Elizabeth, what about the progress of the our discourse forum? Yes. So actually, I do have a little bit of progress on that. One of That's our um, one of our folks from Chaos Africa, Shabul, uh -huh. uh -huh. um, expressed a real interest in taking this project on and moving it forward. So mm -hmm. uh, where we have that document that we had all been putting our thoughts in and everything. So that's kind of where we are. He's just getting. Um, acquainted with where we were in the process. So mm -hmm. um, we are going to work towards moving that forward. And now with this, that probably will be another motivation to get it going sooner than later. Mm -hmm. um, so he and I will be working to kind of set a plan in place. And mm -hmm. hopefully we will get that in, you know, we'll get that launched pretty soon. Um, okay. Cause I think that he's pretty dedicated to working on it. Like, I don't think he has a lot of other things in chaos mm -hmm. that he wants mm -hmm. to work on. So yeah, I think maybe, I don't, I don't know if I want to even put a date around where we'll have it launched, but knowing that you also want to use this for compass, that is another motivator for us to get it going. So thank mm -hmm. you for mm -hmm. bringing that up. Yeah, that, 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 that would be great. Because once we launch the, the service, we would get a lot of, we guys, we would Guys, get a lot of uh, questions or, or or support. We have to provide platform to let people did to discuss together. So, so as a community, we pro prefer providing a forum that like discourse chaos discourse to discuss that. Also in China, we we would have some other channels to set up such discussions like a WeChat group. We can we can provide this public. Um, a group for all of the people in China, and uh, because the reason we we think about it because we we um, we would might a lot of different special case in the in the compass, we cannot cover it at the initial version. So we we have to pro provide channel to let people discuss it together, and uh, and uh, uh, we have. Uh, 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 pretty out here lines the all the dis suggestions and um, and they implement it uh, step by step. Yeah, that makes total sense. And then will do you think people will use discourse from China or would they prefer to keep it on what on WeChat? Um, I think that this discourse would uh, provide it for people outside of China. I mean, okay. Maybe yeah, and uh, we would uh, in China we we can maintain the uh, uh, WeChat uh, group, but um, I, actually I prefer a, a real forum also available for China. But do you think it's it okay to open up a forum that people can can just speak Chinese, reading uh, or writing writing the content in Chinese? I think so. I mean, I think it's it makes it a little easier for people to participate and give feedback. I don't think that's a yep. problem at all. Yeah, 
because because in WeChat we we can quickly get uh, uh, get get involved in the discussion, but such discussion would be lost. Um, right. Yeah. You know, just like Slack, you know, we always forget yeah. what we yeah. discussed two weeks ago. Oh. Yeah. Um. I guess I should actually check to see what the technical limitations of discourse are to see if there's um you know what what would it, it what would it take to get it in chinese as well or at least have a section of it in chinese um let me um put that on my list of things as an action item for me to just do a little research around that and if it comes down to the we need to do a, a totally separate forum for the Chinese community, then we'll just do whatever we need to do, because I think it's really important that you all are able to use the tools that make the most sense for you and not be forced to use our tools if they don't work. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and also another thing that um, uh, you are rem you reminded me to us uh, thinking about the documentation of the compass, and uh, I think we should provide. Um, uh, the documentation, especially uh, the, uh, the the definition of matrix model, and uh, and how to and also including how to use uh, compass. So I I I would prepare for that. So more or less a draft. I I'm seeking for support from from our community to help me to modify. The whole content to make it more available in English. Okay, yeah, that would be great. Yep. So I'm putting you down. You're focusing on documentation in Chinese and English. Yeah, because our first version of Compass, <laughs> the version would be uh, all the content in in this service would be written in in English. So you know we are Chinese people. We may made some mis mi mistakes on these terms or, or uh, characters. So we are also thinking for the support. Uh, when, yes. Yeah. Then we invite you and some people from the community to help us verify the whole things, including the content and also some some marks, benchmarks we provided. English. Yes, a hundred percent. More than happy to help with that. Not yeah. a problem at all. Yeah, that would be great. Sorry, my keyboard is very loud. I know. <laughs> yeah, I like this noise. You know. <laughs> it makes me sound so productive, doesn't it? <laughs> is it the cherry? Is it the cherry? Uh, yeah, it's a yeah, it's like one of the I I forget which it is. My son built it for me, so I okay. don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think I uh, I think it is. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Um. I yeah. I don't. I don't. Oh, we were saying the community will help with the English part. Okay, sorry. And also, uh, Elizabeth, maybe it's um, uh, maybe it would involve more people to discuss here. But uh, uh, because in Asia Pacific, uh, I would like to um, to discuss one more topic with you that we are thinking of set up a um, uh, community in China, which is uh, around the uh, compass. And uh, this compass uh, community only uh, should only focus on the matrix model uh, and uh, and uh, the technical solution around this service. But all the achievement of this community would be contributed back to the chaos, including the source code. Because we yeah. would, um, uh, because that would help more people from China to get involved into. Uh, uh, into this uh, into this chaos uh, matrix model discussion together without ending barriers, especially in, uh, in language. Are you thinking, Yehoi, that it would require um, maybe a, a, a dedicated community manager or? 
Uh, we haven't uh, think about uh, the dedicated manager yet. Okay. Uh, we're just thinking about to invite some people who have more interesting or who is very uh, have some uh, deep understanding of the open source metrics and metrics model in China. We would yeah. invite them together. And uh, we actually have one initial meeting in last month to think to to show our ideas about the compass solutions and uh, the relationship between the chaos and uh, the new co communities uh, set up in China. So uh, what I want to uh, uh, mention here is that um, uh, we put chaos as our upstream community. The work uh, of the uh, work achievement the Compass community in China, uh, including the metrics model and the uh, Compass technical solution, uh, uh, including the source code, would be contributed back to Chaos. Uh, as I, we already discussed this before, because after after a Compass launched, uh, we will contribute all the source code to the Chaos. And uh, also, we would um, uh, uh, maintain, uh, we would governance this uh, community independently. That would remain, remove a lot of concerns from people in China. And uh, that would uh, remove a lot of barriers uh, in China, especially people from different kind of organizations. But we would use this uh, compass as the bridge between the chaos as international com community and uh, and uh, and the compass community in China. That's our initial ideas. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense, and I really like that idea of having that space where people can contribute and connect with chaos when it's a little bit more difficult for them to do so. So I think that's a really great way of bringing in more people to the overall chaos community. So I yep. love that. Yep. Um, now, you, you mentioned you were going to have a meeting. Is this different than the meetup in Beijing that you mentioned earlier? Or uh, is that what? Actually, we already have a meeting uh, in, uh, in, I can't remember that, maybe the uh, yeah, in last months, in last months we have online meeting. Just uh, okay. some people from from different uh, organizations. We 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 share our initial ideas and we share our <clears throat> our initial solutions and uh, and the designing work of the compass. And they really like the solutions. They really like to work together with us to you know promote the compass as a solution as a common common solutions in China that would help us to uh, to achieve the consensus about the metrics model usage in chaos in China and the international communities all over the world I think and because, so that uh, online meeting well, sorry I didn't yeah, mean to interrupt you um, that uh, online meeting then will that that will continue on a regular basis or uh, we think uh, after before uh, we would um, have a next meeting after after our pre-launch pre version is ready okay okay and uh, yeah and also of course in the uh, in the summit i mean the compass summit in china to, together with our chaos meetup uh, we would invite these people to Beijing to discuss uh, around the compass and, and the matrix model provided by Chaos. I really, because, really like that is a yeah. bar uh, lowering that barrier again um, yeah. to, for yeah. to participate. I really like that a lot. Yeah, as you know that we, uh, we can see a lot of new friends from China have joined in Chaos but not like, uh, you know, like other countries, um, they have uh, a little bit, they have um, uh, not that uh, a lot barriers 
of the language to join our chaos communities. So that's why we are thinking about to to set up a, a new co community around around Compass. So that would help people from China to to contribute more their focus and effort uh, in chaos uh, in chaos metrics model and uh, and uh, you know uh, working together to achieve uh, achieve consensus uh, in all over the world yeah i think that all makes complete sense and mm -hmm. i really like th that idea mm -hmm. so thank you yeah. for doing that yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I will. I, I have. Um, I I'm been writing, uh, documentations. Uh, when it's ready, I would share with you and other, boards, uh, board in 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 the community, to share the whole ideas about the compass and uh, and the compass communities, how it works, the relationship between the these two communities, how to collaborate with each other. Yeah. After it's uh, as after it's done, I would uh, I would share with, with with you. Oh, that's great! Yeah, thank you. That would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's all my thinking today. Do we have any other topics to discuss in today's meeting? I do have one more topic, um, and that is that we opened a, a chaos community survey to get feedback from our community on how we can be more welcoming and inclusive. Mm -hmm. um, I will drop a link to that um, survey. I should have pulled it up before the meeting and I did not do that. So I will drop a link to that in these minutes here after I find that and also in the Slack channel. Um, sadly, it is only in English this time. Um, we might translate in other languages for the next one. This is just like the very first iteration of this mm -hmm. survey. So, um, yeah. but if, if we would absolutely love it, if anyone wants to give their feedback on their experiences with chaos and things we can do. Oh, Yahui, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're way more on top of things than I am today. Yeah, because I already finished, finished this survey. Yeah. Awesome. I really like awesome. the questions. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Awesome. Thank you for doing finish. that. Yeah, I have also hey, finished. Hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, nice. Thank you. So yeah, if anybody else wants to take that, we would love it. We would really love it. We're we we're trying to find ways on how we can be more welcoming and inclusive and just um, provide a better experience for everybody, all our contributors and participants. So thank yeah. you. Maybe that was the only can... other thing I had. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I just said yeah. that was the only other thing. Yeah, I think we're good. Yep, I just attached it on the, our moms. So, yeah, wait, so maybe, maybe we can put the link into the Chaos WeChat channel, you know? Sure, I, I can do that. Yeah. That's that's will be helpful. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if we have no other meet uh, topics, I think we can close today's meeting. Elizabeth. Sounds good to me. I will stop recording. Okay.